Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Trendies with Tribune TV. As you know, this is where we discuss happenings around the world, both on the news and social media. And on today's episode, we have stories ranging from Asu down to the popular Wakanda King and the likes. I'm Tevin Tokadibu. And I am Faith Adiyoye. We'll see you in a bit. Single ladies, are you ready to undergo a drug test before marriage? Yes, you heard me. A drug test. So the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has proposed to carry out drug tests for single ladies before embarking on marriages. The NDLEA chairman, Muhammad Mustafa Abdallah, made this known a few days ago while destroying seized illicit substances in Madudori. He said drug tests may be included in the premarital screening due to the increase in the rate of drug addiction among girls and married women. Let's see how Nigerians reacted to this. At Osanoga Eno said, so when they test positive, what will now happen? You will stop them from getting married. I have the same problem with pregnancy tests before marriage. We are so fixated on having people fix a narrative that we do not say for people who fall outside the category. At Jato Blessing 15 said, I don't have a problem with the drug testing for now, but why must it be single ladies alone? What happened to single men? I don't get it. According to CNN reports, Chadwick Bosman died at home in Los Angeles with his wife and family by his side. Bosman was diagnosed with colon cancer four years ago but had not made the information public. The news had left fans all over the world and the film was stunned. Let's see how people are reacting to this. Grandma's hands clapped in church on Sunday morning. Grandma's hands played the tambourine so well. Grandma's hands used to issue out a warning. She say, Chad, don't you run so fast. Might fall on a piece Black of glass. Black Panther is a culmination and it, it definitely is grass, a change. I feel hands. now that, oh, people are like, oh, wait, wait. I thought, some people thought that might have just been a, a fluke. fluke or a trend. Mm -hmm. Whereas mm -hmm. I think what people are realizing now is that, oh, wow. There is a wealth of of um, and a market. Of, yeah, there's a wealth and there's a market of stories here. Mm -hmm. And when you leave out a great part of what has made this nation, yeah. you know, all of the contributions, you're also leaving out a lot of great stories. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of really really cool mm -hmm. things that could be, you know, learned and and loved yeah. by an audience. And people are starting to realize, like, oh, man, I didn't even know that existed. Black, we all know what it's like to be told that there is not a place for you to be featured. Yet you are young, gifted, and black. We know what it's like to be told to say there's not a, a screen for you to be featured on, a stage for you to be featured on. We know what it's like to be the tail and not the head. We know what it's like to be beneath and not above. And that is what we went to work with every day because we knew not that we would be around during a war season or that it would make a billion dollars, but we knew that we had something special that we wanted to give the world, that we could be full human beings in the roles that we were playing, that we, cre we could create a world that exemplified a world that we wanted to see. We knew that we had something that we wanted to give and to come to work with every day and to solve problems with this group of people every day with this director. That is something that I wish all actors would get the opportunity to experience. 
از فیشای شویون بستید چادویگ بوسمان دید او دوز فیومز افتا بین دیاغونایزد ویش دیتری کلون کانسا این دی میدل آف سرژیز این کمو دن ای دیدین دلوز دی باتو اگینز کانسا ای وان بیکنس ای پوت دات دیزیز این ایز پلیس انتی دی ویری هند ای رو The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, on Monday said it was still unsafe for the nation's public universities to reopen for academic activities and also on the account of unmet demands which has been commenced on since March and is yet to be met by the federal government. That is, demands for renovation of schools' infrastructures and the likes. So here are my thoughts on this. Is ASU not reopening schools just because of COVID-19 or because of their pockets at the expense of students' lives. Let's see how Nigerians react to it. As Auntie Aisha said, I really don't know why they are joking with the future of students. Five whole months and you all couldn't come up with a plan to make the school safe for learning. So what are we supposed to do? As Faso Inkwelumi said, but you people are collecting salary. It's not suicide since you people are collecting salaries. Let the students speak for themselves. Don't speak for them. Hashtag Asu. All right, viewers, so we'll come to the end of this week's episode of Trending with Tribune TV. Kindly drop your comments and keep the conversation going. I am Peter Dewey. And I'm Tony Tokadebi. See you next week.